Item 10, discussing the necessary take action to approve an amendment to the I-35 Cleburne Radiology contract. Yeah, that's in your packet. And what what uh, what this is, I'm going to get uh, heavy a little bit. In our negotiation with uh, with uh, with I-35 regarding the, uh, the radiology contract, uh, there there's there's been there's an issue regarding the what 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 is listed as a bonus payment, but is an incentive payment. So. We've gone back to them and we've talked to them and said, okay, if we're going to be in this, uh, you know, as partners, we need to be sharing the profits and losses equally. So what we did is, is we met with them. Uh, they did two things that are in the uh, in the amendment. One of them is they reduced their uh, the management fee by a, a significant amount of sixty two hundred dollars. But they did. We asked them to calculate what their overhead is. Uh, for you know, for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the venture, which is twenty five thousand dollars a month, any any revenue above the sixty two fifty and twenty five hundred will be shared on an equal basis. It, there has to be a there has to be a schedule to do that, but the schedule that's attached to that achieves that as best we can determine. So it has modified the contract. To our advantage, to where, you know, based on what we have to do, it is very close to a 50-50 split on uh, anything above both sides fixed costs. Michael, anything you want to add to that? What, what was the split before? Well, what yeah, was on a, a bonus structure before, and that, they restructured that bonus structure and worked the numbers through on several different ways, looking at it, and it comes out to about a 50-50 split. It's all said. Did you look at the expenses? To make up the twenty-five thousand. Yeah, those were provided. Those were provided to us. Yes, that that they need. So. Okay. Okay. Ray, do you think that we can make some money with this group if we agree to this? Yes, we can't make we can't we can't make any money without it. You know, and that's that was a that was I guess a provision for us to go forward is that you know what what we were seeing is that that the the rep, the way the bonus structure and, and, and I don't think it's done the intentional or anything, but the way the bonus structure was calculated is that is that after we paid the bonus, it was putting us in a either a very low margins are losing money and we go back to say we can't do it. So this was a provision for us to go forward. The answer I think is yes. And we're, if this this can be a profitable venture for us with this arrangement. And it seems to be going well. The volume the volume is, is, is increasing and seems to be going well. It's kind of a shame that we have to give up all those other ones. Well it's, not have renegotiated those agreements and made more money. Huh? Back in back in I were talking about this and when and when you look, if you look, if you look at the financials, which are on an accrual basis, you know, we 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 could we could have made about 1.2 million dollars with I-35 last year, but it's all sitting out there in accounts receivable. Whenever you move it over to a cash basis, because we're not being paid, you know, on a cash basis, I guess if you want to talk about it that way, if we had unlimited cash. And we wanted to continue the deals for an indefinite period of time, funding the losses. I think it would come back to us, but we don't have that. So, uh, so, so if Blue Cross Blue Shield decides to tow the straight and narrow and, and pay us, is there a possibility we could go back to some of those previous yes. clinics and that, pick that's up? That's what I, I asked that exact question about 35. Yep. I said, hey, we had to decouple from them. Is that going to really? Tainted to where they won't come back, and they said no. If it gets worked out to where they know that uh, you know Blue Cross primarily is going to pay like they should, they said they they thought they, they were pretty sure they'd come back. So, but that's that's the reason we had to do all that was because we're not getting paid, yeah. and we can't we can't stand it. We don't we don't have you know unlimited funds like Ray saying to to hold out until we get this settled with Blue Cross. So we had to give them all up. Really different. It's kind of interesting because there's so many fixed costs with I-35. 
them and right. Peter were very low fixed cost, so we could you know we could ride that out a long time. But with these, well, because of the lease payments and the management contracts, you know, you just couldn't do it. But after I, I Blue Cross paid up, and and we got a contract in place where we felt like it would be paid. You know, in the future, I think you'd see us coming back to to address it again. Motion. <coughs> I make, I make a motion to approve the 